A lot of times we come out here and tell our brothers and sisters, hey, God's law says you can't eat shrimp, crab, pork, and lobsters. Sisters, you can't wear pants. Brothers, you gotta, you gotta get a job. You gotta support your family, grow your beard. And they say, oh, you can't judge me. You can't tell me what to do because we all sin. Right? Read it again. But when Jesus heard that, he said unto them, they that be whole need not a physician. Christ is saying, if you're whole, if you're without sin, you don't need a physician. Christ is our physician, though. Read. But they that are sick. But they that are sick. Our people are sick today. Our people are living in a sickest state today. Our households are not in order. Our men are now playing a back road to our women. Bring our children up. are growing up as gangsters, drug dealers. Our sisters glorify things like Nicki Minaj, <laughs> Megan Thee Stallion, and being a whore, living a life of whoredom. There is no substance in our society as a people, and we like it that way. We are sick people. That's right. Free. So, uh, what's your name, bro? I'm sorry. Quan. 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 And Trey. Quan and Trey. Watch this. Quan and Trey. So, Miss Susie already know. So, this happened. Have this happened before? This happened to us, right? Our ancestors, right? This happened to us. Watch this. Is this in the Bible? No. No? We're gonna read it. Quan. It say if if it say it say the Bible say if a man got an ear, let him hear. You got ears, right? Hear this word. Watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. It say into Egypt. Now, the Bible explains itself, right? Watch this. We're gonna go, we're gonna go back to it, Smith Sue. We're gonna go back to it. Watch this. Now the Bible explains itself. Now we 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 right here on it say. Read, read, read it again. Exposure. Read that again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. Okay, it say into Egypt. Now we're finna find out what Egypt means. You might think in Egypt is a land mass, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Watch this though. Exodus chapter 20, verse 2. I I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Right, there you go. There you go. Here you go. Here you go. Egypt. This is now it's been explained what it is. Out of the house of bondage. So on, what is what is bondage? Some place that uh, you can't get out of. Some place you can't get out of. Or some place of slavery. Slavery. As uh, Miss Sue said, captivity. Yeah. Captivity. Now watch this. Read. Yeah. Take the same verse. Uh uh. No. Yeah. Do the right. Yeah. Do yeah. Okay. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Now they say we're gonna bring you into bondage, slavery, captivity again with with ships. Uh oh. Say that again. With ships. One more time. With ships. So it's coming in with ships. All right. So that's our slavery, right? That happened to who? Uh, who, who that happened to, though? Our ancestors. Our ancestors. The blacks, the Spanish, and Native Americans, right? Yes, sir. Read. Thou shalt see it no more again. You ain't going to see it no more again. What are you talking about? He talking about your homeland. What is your homeland? Come on, say it. There's 52 countries in Africa, but which one we from? Watch this though. Bible explained itself. Bible explains itself. Um, Galatians, yeah. Yo, why are we going? We're going to Galatians. We're going to Gal Hey, says, how you doing? Hey, come here. Time to hear the word of God. These your kids? Oh, oh, come on. Bring the kids up here. Oh, we love the kids. We love the kids. Watch this. All right, come on. Yeah, come on up. Come on up. Come on up, let's come on. Over here. All right, read. Galatians chapter 4, verse 26. This is our homeland. But Jerusalem. But what? But Jerusalem. What did, what did he say? Jerusalem. <laughs> Jerusalem is our homeland, okay? Now, Africa, it's in Africa, but it's in the, in the what is the northeast? The northeast part of Africa. Northeast part of Africa. In the top part, right? Read. But Jerusalem, which is above, is free. Is free. Which is the mother of us all. Is the mother of us all. That's where we that's where we originated from. That's the garden of Eden. Oh, <laughs> said too much. All right, watch this. Now, sis, can I ask your kids a question? All right, what's your name? Kayel. Kayel? Samai. Samai. Who? Nyessa. Nyessa. Nyessa, how y'all doing? My name is Uriah. 
I'm finna show you something. Who is this right here? Watch this, sis. Watch this, uh, phone. Who is this right here? Oh, you. Is that me? <laughs> no, up to my right here. Who is that? Nobody. Nobody. Yes. Oh, crazy. Okay. Yes. Yeah, oh, okay. crazy. Right. That's right. Yeah, hey, give me some of that. Somebody. Yeah. Somebody. Yeah, that's nobody. Oh, that's all right, hold on, hold on. Hey, come on. Who is that? As you know it up. White Jesus. Yeah, white Jesus, right? So is that true? No. It's not, is it? Because in the Bible it says uh, God had him a rule. Dead. Like a that's man. right. That's right. That's right. So why would they give us this? Because that is um. The that's what the white king, people want you to believe. King um king ca 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 um Catholic king who was uh king who used to do some uh, do you um have sex with males. That's yeah, uh yeah, yeah. his name his name his name is Caesar uh, Bojay. Uh, Caesar Bojay, okay. That's the that's the enemy. Caesar Bojay. That's the that's the corporate right there. Caesar Bojay and uh. That's uh, Pope Alexander the sixth, sixth son. And he, yeah, he did. He raped his sister. He was a a, a homosexual. Yeah, and they got him as, and uh, Leonardo da Vinci painted him. They call that a cataclasm. A, a, a cataclasm. All right, they call that, what they do, they, it's whitewashing. They take the real image and they put they self in, in, in the place of it. Yeah, watch, watch this. Hey, the Bible speaks for itself. Yeah, give me, let me get that in Maccabee. Maccabee 6 and 4. 4. Where's Maccabee's 4? 3 and 38. 3 and 38. Watch this. Come on. Trey. What's your name, says? Asia. Asia. Hey, and three look here. In the 3 and 48. 3 and 48. Watch this now. Watch this. Check this out. Bro, hey man, some good information coming out right here. Hey man, hey, I advise you to listen, bro. I advise you to listen. Watch this. First Mega Beans. First Mega Beans. 348. Watch this. Now, a kind of classic. Now, as y'all know, see, that's what I'm saying. Your mama teaching y'all well. Your mama teaching y'all well. And that's good. Watch this, though. Listen, listen to what he's saying. First Maccabees chapter three, verse forty-eight. What's it, hey, bro? Hey, listen to what. Listen to this. Hey, this is what we call a cataclasm. A cataclasm, whitewashing. All right. This is how we got this image. Check it out. Listen. listen First bro. Maccabees chapter three, verse forty-eight. Watch this. And laid open the book of the law. Oh, they laid open the book of the law. That's the Bible. They laid the Bible open. Right. Right. Watch this. Wherein the heathen had sought to paint. It say, we're in the heathen. The up. heathen. The other nations, the heathen, that was the most high God called them. The heathen, read, had sought to paint the likeness of their images. It say, sought to paint the likeness of their images. So, what that mean, big bro? No. Come on, bro. That's what that mean, Quan. That's not his image. Hey, your mama teaching y'all right. It say, the Bible says, this is a lie. This is a lie. Okay? This is a lie. That's right. They paint the, read it again. And laid open the book of the law, wherein the heathen had sought to paint the likeness of their images. The likeness of their images. Because they told us this is Christ. But watch this. Let's get the true image of Christ. Read it up. We're going to get the true image of Christ, bro. What color Christ is? Huh? Ooh. His feet were like bronze. His feet, watch this. Hey, what's your name, bro? Justin. Joseph. Justin. Justin. Okay, Justin. Watch this. All right. Revelation chapter 1. Give me one. One and one. Watch verse, this. Revelation chapter 1, verse 1. We're going to watch that. The revelation of Jesus Christ. It's saying, now this is the root word of revelation is what? To be new. To be new. Uh-uh. To reveal. So... This is the revealing of Jesus Christ. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. So this must shortly come to pass. So who is God's servants? Who is God? You know who God's? You, you, hey, you are absolutely right. You are. You, all of us, we are God's servants. Okay? 
Read. Oh, hold on, hold on. Hold on. To, to prove that, Leviticus 20, 25 in the last verse. Watch this. Check this out. Check this out now. Come on, here we go. There it is. Leviticus. I'll see y'all later, man. Hey, hey, Quan. You're going to be down here all day. You, hey, come to the school, bro. Look at the address. The whole book, nice look at it. It's like six years long, it is. Yeah. yeah, come on. Leviticus chapter 25, verse 55. Watch this. For unto me, the children of Israel, the children of Israel, you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you are the children of Israel. Uh, we are servants. Are uh, what? Are servants. You are the servants of the Most High God. Read. That's right. They are my servants. They what? They are my servants. No, no, you are servants to the white man. They are my servants. You are servants to Moab. They are my servants. This is the most high God telling you, you are his servants. Read. Whom I brought forth out of the land of Egypt. Out of what? Out of the land of Egypt. So we just came, we just read in Exodus 20 and 8 what Egypt was. Egypt is bondage. So he said, read it again. He brought you, watch this. I brought you forth out of the land of Egypt. Out of bondage. That's it on that? No. I am the Lord your God. Yeah, hey. He is the Lord your God. He didn't say, I'm the Lord God of everybody. He said, your God. All right, go back. All right, so now. That's what Where I was. Okay. Revelation 1 and 1. Revelation. Yeah, Revelation 1 and 1. <laughs> sis, hey, you want it, sis. I've been trying so, to have, me and so, my kids been coming to the school. Y'all coming to the school? Yeah, we've been looking online, we've been reading. I don't have a couple of these, I've already been, in, been looking in it. Because these are our truth, and these are the future. And if we don't teach in the future, the white man will still continue, continue controlling it. See, watch this, hold on now. <laughs> Go ahead, get it, give it. Ma'am? How are y'all? I'm doing good. Your yeah, gentleman friend invited me, and I'm, I'm glad to stand here. But when I hear you say servant, can you please explain to me exactly right here in South Carolina today, what, how am I supposed to serve God? How you supposed to serve God? Yes, please. How you supposed to serve God? Okay. Well, yeah, yeah. Now this, yeah. So, sis, when, when we supposed to serve, how we supposed to serve God, right? Now, we, God gave us law, statutes, and commandments, okay? So, we got to... Yes. So you have the good question. Then we're going to get right back to the true image of Jesus Christ. Because it's important. That image of Jesus Christ, that false image, is what has our society, as us as a people, jacked up today. It has us hating ourselves, hating each other. And our, our women hating themselves. They don't want their natural hair. The, the, the industry makes billions of dollars based off of our own self-hatred. So that image of Jesus Christ that the officer is bringing out is heavy. We're going to get back to it. But the sister asked a great question. How do we serve God? What is our duty to God? God what are we supposed God. to do? Because a lot of times we just say we just praise God. Praise God and he will bless us. Or praise God and he will love us. No, his actions come behind our faith. Right. right. Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 13. Go ahead. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. I was saying let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. So-called black, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Hear the purpose of the reason why you were placed on this earth. Hear how you are supposed to serve God. Read. Fear God. It says fear God. What does it mean to fear God, sis? What's your name? Sharon. Sharon, what does I, it mean I, to fear I God? I stand my knees before him. Mm -hmm. I speak about him. The part that That's I don't good. understand is how to completely do that service. Okay. What about you, bro? How do you, what does it mean to fear God? You too, sis. What does it mean to fear God? To respect him enough to understand that. That this thing in the spirit of the flesh and the spirit. That's okay. Me. What does it mean to fear God? Keep his commandments. Keep his commandments, right? Let me let me ask you a question, brother. If there's a wild pit bull, healthy pit bull, big and strong, coming and it's barking as hard as it wants across that street and it's looking at you, would you fear that pit bull? Why would you be afraid of that pit bull? Because you know it's going to come and bite you. Or might maul you or tear you apart, right? So when it says to fear God, what are you fearing? You're fearing his judgment for our iniquity. Our sin is what causes us to be in this state today. So it says, read again. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. So let's hear the conclusion of the entire matter. Why are we placed on this earth here? Read. Fear God. It says fear God and do what? And keep his commandments. And keep his commandments. So our service to God is to keep his laws. 
Our people are taught, though, by our enemies that no one can keep God's laws. It's impossible to keep God's laws, statutes, and commandments. Give me that in um, Timothy. Timothy 1, verse 9. Drop 1 Timothy, where it talks about the laws are not made for. There's a, there's a purpose between God's laws because what's wrong? How can we say the laws are done away? But that means that we can rape, we can steal, God's gonna be good with that. We can kill each other, God's gonna be good with a murderer. So how is God's laws done away with? Read that. First Timothy chapter one, verse nine. Go ahead. Knowing this, that the law is not made for a righteous well, man. Well, first thing we gotta understand is that the laws of God is not made for a righteous man. So none of us are coming up here acting like we didn't walk in wickedness and that we don't slip from time to time. God's laws, Christ actually came. Get, hold that, get Matthew 9. Matthew chapter 9, verse 12. But when Jesus heard that, he said unto them, they that behold need not a physician. It says they that behold, if you're without sin, you don't need a physician. A lot of times we come out here and tell our brothers and sisters, hey, God's law says you can't eat shrimp, crab, pork, and lobsters. Sisters, you can't wear pants. Brothers, you gotta, you gotta get a job. You gotta support your family, grow your beard. And they say, oh, you can't judge me. You can't tell me what to do because we all sin. Right, read it again. But when Jesus heard that, he said unto them, they that be whole need not a physician. Christ is saying, if you're whole, if you're without sin, you don't need a physician. Christ is our physician though, read. But they that are sick. But they that are sick. Our people are sick today. Our people are living in a sickest state today. Our households are not in order. Our men are now playing a back road to our women. Our children up. are growing up as gangsters, drug dealers. Our sisters glorify things like Nicki Minaj, <laughs> Megan Thee Stallion, and being a whore, living a life of whoredom. There is no substance in our society as a people, and we like it that way. We are sick people. That's right. Free. They, verse, verse 12, but when, when Jesus heard that, he said unto them, they that need... They that be whole need not a physician, go ahead. but they that are sick. Go ahead. But go ye and learn what that meaneth, and I will have mercy and not sacrifice. For I am not come to call the righteous. He said, I am not come to call the righteous. So when we out here teaching our people and saying, hey, brother, you're not keeping God's laws right. Where your fringes at? Hey, we're all breaking God's Sabbath day. That's, right. That's the purpose of Christ. That's why we're out here teaching, because somebody had to teach us that. Because right. we were doing the same things. Right. We were doing the same exact things that we see our brothers and sisters doing now. So Christ said, read it again. For I am not called to call, called, for I am not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. He came to bring sinners to repentance. That's the purpose of Jesus Christ. That's repentance. But how do you know repentance if you don't know God's laws? Now go back to Timothy. First Timothy chapter one, verse nine. Go ahead. Knowing this. That the law is not made for a righteous so man. So God's laws is not made for the righteous. So if we can acknowledge that we're sinners and our service is to keep his commandments, then we know that God's laws, Jesus Christ, was made for us. Read. But for the lawless. But for the lawless. Read. And disobedient. And disobedient. Go ahead. For the ungodly. For the ungodly. We're living as an ungodly people. God's laws changes that thing. Read. And for sinners. And for who? And for sinners. So God's laws are made for sinners to do what? What does God's laws do for sinners? What does it do by keeping God's laws? How does it help a sinner? Christ said he came to help us. So if Christ came to bring God's laws and sinners to repentance, how would God, okay, here's a law. Thou shalt not kill. So if you're in the midst of gang banging or, or whatever you're doing, God's law says don't kill. If you fear God enough, you fear God's judgment on being a murderer. If you fear God enough and say, damn, I need to stop killing. How does that help that person? How, exactly. How does that help our community then? Exactly. And that's how Christ works. That's how Christ moves. But it all starts with God's laws. When Mosai says, thou shalt not commit adultery, he's saying that to fix our communities. When he's telling the brother, if you lie down with a sister, you need to marry her, he's saying that to fix our communities. He's not saying that to hurt you. If he's telling you to stop smoking crack, he's telling you that to help yourself so that you don't die early from, from drug abuse. How does God's laws hurt you? 
No, it's that evil, wicked demon that's within us that reject God's laws, that want to stay in sin and, and, and keep this perpetual cycle as a people. That's right. right. Read it again. Knowing this, that the law is not made for a righteous man. So the law, God's laws is not made for a righteous man. So we ain't coming up here acting like we righteous. We need God's laws just like everybody else. Right. Read. But for the lawless and disobedient, Go ahead. for the ungodly Go ahead. and for sinners, and for sinners, read. For unholy uh -huh. and profane. For murderers of for, fathers. For murderers of fathers that goes on in our community, read. And murderers of mothers. For murderers of mothers that goes on in our community, read. For manslayers. For manslayers, we out there murdering and killing each other, read. For who among us? For who among us? Our brothers is growing up learning to sleep with, with women and not take care of them. Our brothers is growing up learning that you can lie down with a sister and not marry that sister. Single parent households is predominant in our community. That's a life of whoremongerism. And the Most High God doesn't deal with that. And that's not, that God's law fixes that issue. Read. For men that defile themselves with mankind. For homosexuals. For men that defile themselves with mankind. God is saying don't do that. That's why some of God's judgment, if you fear God, what happens to a homosexual? He gets diseases, he gets all kinds of things happen to him. Why? That's part of judgment from God. Read. For men stealers. For men stealers, go ahead. For liars. Hold on, men stealers. Mm. Bring it out. Human trafficking. Is that going on in our community today? Our young sisters predominantly getting taken and, 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 and taken in the white vans and sold off into sex trafficking. Is that not happening? It is that. Is that happening, brother? God's law says for men stealers because we're doing that to our own people. Is that a good thing for, the, for human trafficking? So what do we do? We fear God. We turn back to his laws. We enforce God's laws on our households first and then in our community. Read. For liars. For liars. Read. For perjured persons. For people that lie before judgment. Read. And if there be anything other thing that is contrary to sound doctrine. Anything contrary to sound doctrine. Sound doctrine. Good doctrine, man. It's time. It's high time we come out of the Christian church that teaches we can be whatever the hell we want to be and keep us the way we are so we can remain drug dealers, so we can remain pimps, so we can remain whores, so we can remain drug addicts, so we can remain alcoholics, so we can remain murderers, gangbangers. That's what we're being taught, to remain a docile, degenerate, base people. That's right. And we don't want to change. We want to stay the way we are. God doesn't want you to stay the way you are. And the people that the people that actually listen to this word, that this word hits, they're going to change their life. That's right. right. To better our community. What, what, are we, what are we going to do? We're going to vote for, for Trump again? We're going to vote for Barack Obama? Who are we going to vote for that's going to fix this thing here? It starts with us. Give me Romans 12 and 2. Bring it out. It starts with us. And it starts with understanding the true image of Jesus Christ first. He's not a white man. He's a so-called black man from the tribe of Judah. That's right. The same blood that ran through his veins run through our the black man's veins today. But we don't believe it. Why? Because our enemies whipped our backs and taught us Christianity. They took our book, our records, and taught us a lie. And because we weren't allowed to read, we were put to death that we tried to read. Guess what? We believed that day. We believed anything that our enemy said. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.